everybody, I'm going to show you today a tutorial on Gapminder and potential use for marine science. So Gapminder is, um, uh, was founded in 2005 and promotes sustainable global development. So they display in a very nice way their data with different graphs. Here we have the bubble graph, uh, here we have maps, trends and ranks. Uh, their data are very broad and they can go from economic, um, environmental, cultural and social um, topic. Here you have different uh, countries um, colored by um, different region, macro region. And basically they display the evolution of their data throughout the time and you can actually play uh, with the speed. One of the most interesting part of Gapminder is that you can download an offline app and where you have full access of their data and also you can import your own data and display them. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. So this is uh, the application. I choose, for example, CO2 emission. Um, and it exactly look like in the website. So I'm going to show you how to, to import your data and build a graph that it looks like Gapminder graph. So basically, you go to new chart, your data, Excel file, which I think is very useful because we use a lot uh, Excel. It's step by step. So the first step is to choose your type of graph. And then uh, you have to choose your data, how is that range. And I think it's very useful because they already show you how your data set should look like. And this helps you not waste time on build like a data set that then doesn't fit your graph. And um, I, in my case, I have times go down and I choose the Excel file and then I just import it. And this is how it looks like. I'm going to show you actually how my data set is built on Excel. So I have four different regions. I have the years and then I have, I choose the pH average. I create this uh, data set so the values are invented, but I try to be as close as possible to the reality. Uh, so back to the app, I can change the color according to oh, the different regions. Ah, let me see if I can. OK, um, and yeah, this is uh, the final graph, which uh, show you exactly how the pH average varies in, during the time and in the different region. You can moreover export your data for the web as images, as a video. And I think it's very useful because you can use this, uh, especially when you have to present your data to a public that is not an expert, like maybe in school or in talks. And also you can, um, uh, you can expand, you can do more complex things with Gapminder uh, by exploring their website and other software that helps you um, uh, coding and do more complex and interesting things. So I think it's a very nice application.